So Oliver, tell us about how you got involved in My City 2 and I'm where you first heard about it. I'm one of the people it. who've been in My City 2 the longest, actually. Mm -hmm. I've been here for, well, since it started, really. I've kind of lost track of time almost. Yeah. Um, longer than some of the uh, staff running it. Well, most of the staff running it. Um, and, yeah, we found it on the internet. I've been interested in doing architecture since I've been small, very small. Mm -hmm. And um, so my mum told me, well, you need extra curricular activities to do with architecture. So I just went, I searched that on Google. Mm -hmm. And uh, ever since I've been in my city too. Really, that's, <laughs> that's fantastic. So do you, can, you, can you remember what made you work at what, so what sparked that interest in architecture when you were young? <laughs> oh, no, I can't remember that. No, um, I, just, I just like drawing houses, really. Mm -hmm. I suppose that's it. Yeah. I played around on the computer. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. And what what have you been doing with My City Two since you've been with them? <laughs> that list is very very long. We you know we meet every month, mm -hmm. and probably one of the most striking things we've done is we worked with the Olympic Committee on the wrap of the stadium, mm -hmm. which is very interesting. We met in the Emirates Stadium, and they gave us a talk on the Olympics. Uh, and we also went to visit the the site as well, um, but uh, mainly uh, we we talked about the wrap around it and what should go on that, and that was really interesting for us. Yeah, oh, great. And also, we've done a Petra Kutcher event uh, where we talked to I think many mayoral candidates. Yeah, it was a couple of years ago, wasn't it? When was it? I was in there. So you it must there. have been two years. Yes. Yeah, two two and a bit years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and well, Ken didn't come. <laughs> we sent him a cake, and he didn't come. Oh, really? Yeah, it was that's not, terrible. It, it was really <laughs> Obviously, bad. cake isn't his weak point then. Uh, <laughs> there you go, there you go. Cake isn't his weak point. Ah, uh, still haven't got that down. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, we talked about transport. Mm -hmm. Well, I did. We talked about in um, open spaces uh, to reporters, architects, engineers and mayoral candidates, and mm -hmm. yeah, that was also really interesting. Yeah, and you have you seen, since you've been doing all this, have you seen a difference, you know, being made, and kind of what you see kind of coming back at you, or is it a very what, slow process? What do you mean? In terms of you're kind of putting all this, sort of giving all this feedback and doing all this we're input, still, do you see that coming out in the built environment? We're still quite yeah. a young organisation, mm -hmm. we're, we're three or four years old, um, not much more than that, which mm -hmm. means... No, with a small organisation like Open City yeah. and My City too, it kind of takes the time to get running. But we, we've got interest, the mayor's now interested in what we're doing in our manifesto, yeah. which we drew up over two years ago for the Petra Kutcher event. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was, you know, it, we're, still, we're still getting things out there, really. And um, I suppose the most feedback we've really had is general interest. Mm -hmm. More and more interest, more, more and more people getting involved. I think there's 70 people that have signed up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. not, most of them don't come on a regular basis. Yeah. But we still have 70 people signed up, which is, which is good. Mm -hmm. Back in my day, we were 15. Yeah. Wow. So that's quite good. Oh, that's fantastic. And so, um, I was saying to Ace, what you're doing today is you, you're talking to people directly, members of the community, um, and getting their feedback about the place in which they live. And um, so, what do you think the difference is between you guys as young people doing that and sort of what would normally be kind of perhaps members of a council doing it, sort of in a very formal way? What do you see the difference um, between those the two methods? As you just said, form, formal. We, we are not really formal. We're just. We're just there, kind of like hanging, hanging around and just, you know, going, oh, can you help me? Just mm -hmm. Answer a question and draw something down. And, you know, just, it's, we kind of see it as a little bit of fun for them, and that kind of gives us, gives a nicer, I don't know, atmosphere to the whole thing. Whereas mm -hmm. members of the city council, you know, quite formal, may not have that same, I don't like to use the word aura, but, you know, <laughs> Kind of, kind of something along those lines. Yeah. And so, even though so I read your manifesto, and on your manifesto, you're saying about wanting different generations in public spaces to have yeah. different spaces of their own individual. But do you see 
do you think this process is actually the process of it actually is bringing a lot of different generations together to talk well, about it? That's what I think. Yeah. When you read the manifesto, you can read it too literally. Mm -hmm. When we say every corner should have, where every generation have should have their own corner of public space, we don't literally mean segregation. Mm -hmm. We we mean that each generation should be looked after, and generation shouldn't be ignored because. What I've noticed is that quite a few, well, it's, it's changing now, thanks to my sister too and other organisations, but young people in particular and the older pe and the kind of middle-aged people are kind of the ignored bits of society. Mm -hmm. and when people talk about young people in particular, it's mostly detrimental and people don't really care much about what they do, you know, oh, they hang around street corners, oh, bad teenagers. Mm -hmm. um, and now there's a group photo, which we are. <laughs> no, that's, that's absolutely fine. Well, thank you very much. <laughs>